Toto, do you remember Oz? <coughs> that wonderful land we went to? Far, far away. Halfway to yesterday and back. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll read it. Hey, it's from the Scarecrow, old Socrates the Straw Man. Dear Dorothy, I and all your old friends miss you. Since the wizard gave me my brain, I can write very well. And Dandelion's not cowardly anymore since he got courage from the wizard. Rusty, the Tin Man, so happy with his new heart. And the wizard has learned lots of new magic, or so he says. <laughs> the Wicked Witch of the West doesn't bother us anymore since you melted her. Gee, we sure wish you could come back to Oz. Love from us all. P.S. Glinda, the Good Witch, says to remind you to keep your magic slippers shined up all silvery. My silver slippers! Where are they? <laughs> But I miss my friends. I'd really like to go back to Oz. Just for a visit, you understand. Stay away from Kansas too long and I get homesick. But I'd really like to go for a little while. Oz just can't continue without me. I want to go back, I want to go back, I want to go back. I've got to have my old friends about me. I want to go back, I want to go back, I want to go back. Got my silver slippers shined up and Toto's ready to. out 
out of them. First time we come in a flying house, next time in a flying fruit tree. Hello! Aw, oh, come on out, everybody. It's only me, Dorothy. <laughs> well, hi there. Glad to see ya. Aren't they cute? I do wish they'd talk slower, though. It's a trick just to understand them. Hi, Mr. Munchkin Mayor. The mayor says he welcomes us back and he'd like to present us with the... are nice as people can be. And in Munchkinville in the world of Oz, you'll find Munchkins naturally. We're Munchkins naturally. We're Munchkins naturally. And being Munchkins, you agree. We're people as nice as people can be. We're people you'll find in Munchkinville. In the wonderful world of Oz. much with their <laughs> so whatever they say is right but they keep in touch with their <laughs> all day and have the night we're munchkins naturally we're munchkins naturally and being munchkins you'll agree we're people as nice as people can be we're people you'll find in munchkin bay. You can say that the munchkins are homegrown, so be careful where you walk. Cause wherever happiness is sown, you'll hear a munchkin talk. We're munchkins naturally. We're munchkins naturally. And being munchkins, you agree. We're people as nice as people can be. We're people you'll find. Gotta go now. Gotta find my friends. Oh, look! It's Glinda, the Good Witch of the North. Happy to see you, ma'am. Oh, Dorothy, the occasion is not a happy one. I bring you sad tidings. What? Those whom you seek. Rusty the Tin Man, Socrates the Straw Man, and Dandy the Lion have all been seriously harmed. Oh, no! By the wicked Witch of the West. The witch? But I melted her. Ah, true. But witches are not like ordinary people. You see, after you melted her and left Oz, all she had to do was wait for winter to come. And the cold merely froze her up solid into a witch again. And soon she was as good as new. <laughs> But her evil powers were ruined by the melting. A witch isn't a witch without witching. That, my dear, is why she wants your magic slippers. That's why she brought you back. She brought me back? Yes. She forged that letter from Socrates. And it was that letter that caused the tornado that brought you here. <laughs> She then journeyed to her cousin, the wretched witch of the wastelands, and borrowed some temporary magic. <laughs> These temporary powers, however, run out today at half past twenty, Oz time. She has only seven hours left. Seven hours? I'd better hide until her time's up. No, no, my dear. She'd be sure to find you. Your only protection is to get to the great Wizard of Oz in the Emerald City. That's right. Uh, wait! 
great. Um, Rusty, Socrates, and Dandy. I've got to help them first. Oh, so many things to get done. Uh, oh, what did she do to them? How'd she hurt them? In a manner befitting her evil soul. She robbed them of their dearest possessions. Knowing that Rusty's new heart made him very loving, she turned herself into his heart's desire. <laughs> Using feminine wiles, she got Rusty to help her over the brook. <laughs> the candy box heart the wizard gave him was ruined. And what was worse, the water rusted him solid. Then the witch called on Socrates in the guise of a learned professor. She asked to see Socrates' great brain. And the innocent straw man proudly showed the diploma the wizard gave him. Socrates' brains were burned up by the witch. And Socrates, being made of straw, could do nothing about it. And then, the witch forced him to be a scarecrow again. She then destroyed Dandelion's courage by turning his hero's medal into a daisy. And now he hides from butterflies and his own shadow once more. I've just got to help them before I go to the wizard. Oh, my child, you're in grave danger. Remember, she wants your magic slippers to restore her evil powers permanently. She'll stop at nothing to get them. Can't help that. A friend is a friend. Well, then, make sure you don't lose your magic slippers. They're your only protection. And will they protect Dandy, Sock, and Rusty, too? My time is short, but... I tell you this regretfully. The slippers protect you alone. The heartless, brainless, and cowardly, they'll turn to solid stone. Golly, what are you... Glinda, come back! Come back! The slippers protect you alone. The heartless, brainless, and cowardly, they'll turn to solid stone. Well, that wicked old witch will never get these slippers. I promise. On my honor as a brownie. <laughs> we'll just find our friends, go to the wizard, and with his help, fix that old biddy's wicked witching for good. But how do I start? Which way do I go? <laughs> Toto, that's right. The yellow brick road goes everywhere in Oz. I'll just get on that and keep walking. Chin up, Toto. Nothing to be scared about. We have to be brave. After all, we're from Kansas. Kansas, USA. watching this. Time's running short. It's already a quarter to 15, and the temporary powers run out at half past 20. I have dirty work to do. <laughs> I have to get those magic slippers of hers. <laughs> no, be quiet. Let me think. Stop! You nincompoops! No, oh, I must be off. Where's that witless flying umbrella of mine? <whistles> Fool! 
Where are you when I need you? Dorothy's back in Oz. Away. No way. Give this silly stick a push. Away. The wicked old witch there is that nobody can deny. I can outwitch any old witch there is as surely as I can fly. <laughs> See, Toto, we came through without even a scratch. <laughs> It'll be clear sailing from now on in. I know it. Rusty! Oh, Rusty, what happened to you? I hope I'm not too late. Where's your oil can? <laughs> Don't you fret. We'll have you fixed up in no time flat. How's that? Okay. I, I, I guess. Oh, Rusty, it's so good to see you again. Nothing. What? Nothing. I don't feel anything. I, I guess it's good to see you too, Dorothy. But I can't tell. I haven't got my heart anymore. See? So like I said, I can't feel anything. Oh, Oh, can't you see the trouble I'm in? I have no heart in this body of tin. When I see a sight that is pure delight, I would love to love it. But I'm above it because I'm heartless through and through. Sometimes I feel I'd like to be gay And laugh at what other people have to say Or maybe feel sad or sometimes glad I would surely try to, I'd almost die to Give it a try But I'm heartless through and through just imagine yourself in my place Where there should be a heart, there's none Just an empty, hollow, heart-shaped space Now wouldn't that spoil your fun? Now think of this, you are made of tin Which in itself is not a sin From your head to your toe, you're a tin can Joe if you really care to, or if you dare to, you'd be heartless through and through. You'd be heartless through and through. Blast that old witch anyhow. Look, Rusty, when we go back to the wizard, we'll make him give you a new heart. A better one this time. Waterproof? Gee, you think he would? Let's go and find out. Come on, Toto, time's running short. We'd better get to the wizard. Rusty, look! Hi. Socrates Straw Man, what are you doing up on that pole? A genius like you. Aw, uh, don't scold me, Dorothy. I'm sorry, Sock. I'm really glad to see you. You know that, don't you? I don't know anything. My thinker was a clinker. Oh, well, we'll just get you a new one, that's all. A new one? Where? Brains don't grow on trees, you know. Oh, you can't buy a brain like you can potatoes or tomatoes. It can't be found. Oh, you can't. Find a brain in the neighborhood grocery. No, 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 sorry, it can't be found. You gotta have one when you're born, or else you'll go through life forlorn. You'll be like me, most assuredly, a silly willy nilly billy guy. 
now brains don't grow on a tree like a peach does and that is because they might fall down you won't find a brain in a candy bar in a railroad car one can't be found you gotta have one when you're born or else you'll go through life forlorn you'll be like me most assuredly Silly willy nilly billy guy Oh, you can't make a brain In a laboratory That's too gory, it's just not right You can't build a brain With wood and hammer Too much glamour, it's just not right You gotta have one when you're born Or else you'll go through life forlorn You'll be like me, most assuredly A silly willy milly billy tilly tilly silly guy Oh Sock, I know where you can get another brain Come along with us to see the wizard Maybe he can give you a real brain this time Gee, you think so? Well, let's go Yes, and let's hurry <laughs> What's that? It sounds like Candy, the Cowardly Lion. Help! Save me! It's after me! It's gonna get me! Oh, it's big and black and long, and it keeps changing its shape. Get down, you big baby! Oh, there it is again. See? <laughs> his shadow. He's scared of his own shadow. Oh, oh, oh. Well, how would you like to have a hairy, scary shadow like that? He's a dan dan dandy lion, dandy lion, dandy lion. He's a dan dan dandy lion. It's just that he's somewhat shy. Stop it! You ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Oh, Dandy, calm down. Aren't you glad to see me? I should be, but I'm afraid of you. Dandy, what happened to your courage? <laughs> what courage? A hero's medal is no more protection than a daisy. Well, maybe the wizard will give you real courage this time. You, you, you're going to see the wizard again? Gee, I'm with you fellas, a hundred percent, all the way. True blue, all for one, and one for all. Excelsior! No, be quiet and let's go! Right! right. One thing, though, I forgot. Where are we going? To see the wonderful Wizard of Oz in the Emerald City. Look, everybody, look! The Emerald City's right up ahead! They're almost to the Emerald City. Sixteen o'clock already, what to do? Now get to the wizard before they do. Ah! <laughs> For the all-powerful and almighty has spoken. When Oz has spoken, Oz has spoken. Be gone. Well, that's that for another day. Now, who's that? Probably a salesman or a munchkin or one of the other busybodies who live around here. Egad, they don't make busybodies like that anymore, anymore. Enter! Oz the Great awaits your request. Cut the comedy, darling. I want to meet the real you. Nobody's allowed in that room, that room. There's a crazy man there sitting at a desk, pulling switches and talking into a microphone, microphone. Hi! Darling, at last we meet. Mm, so we do, so we do. Now what can I do for you, for you, my dear? Are you 
sure you're the wonderful wizard? Yes, my little drop of munchkin goo. I'm the viz of a wizard. A whiz of a viz. A viz of a whiz. I'm the guy. Can you cast spells and mesmerize people? Why, madam, you're talking to the little old spellcaster, me. Oh, mesmerize me. Right, right now? I'm waiting. Very well, very well. You're getting sleepy, very sleepy. You can hardly keep your eyes open, open. Excuse me, not the company, I assure you. Sleepy, sleepy. Flying monkeys all covered with hair imprison the wizard inside my lair. That way, you nincompoopadoopies! Can't you follow a simple incantation? Hurry! Hurry! That Dorothy and her friends ought to be getting here soon. I'll take over the wizard's duties. <laughs> You're the wickedest wicked old witch there is. And I've got the evilest arm. Yes, the wickedest wicked old witch there is that nobody can deny. <laughs> So this is how he works it, eh? Well, here we are. Do you think he'll have turned himself into that big, ugly head again? I... I, ho I hope not. That big, ugly head gives me the creeps. Everything gives you the creeps. Well, I can't help it. <laughs> I am the mighty, wonderful Wizard of Oz. I know, sir, but your voice sounds different. Well, I have a cold. Mama, Mama must be a head cold. <laughs> Gesundheit. Please, sir, we come to ask for a new brain for Socrates, a new heart for Rusty, and some more courage for Dandy. But we want them to be genuine this time. Hmm. The real stuff is expensive, don't you know? Can you pay for them? With what? I don't have any money. Aunt Em only gives me a quarter a week. Ah, uh, Dorothy, it just isn't any use. Wait. Now, I might consider a trade. Like, uh, what for what? For instance. Oh, um, what do you want for those, uh, those slippers, for instance? No. What do you mean, no? He'll give us everything we want for an old pair of shoes. I'll get you new shoes. I'll even get you skis. No. Why? These are magic slippers. And I promised I'd never part with them until the Wicked Witch of the West is captured and destroyed for good. Oh. Hmm. Let me think this over. No, that smart little Dorothy. She can't outthink me. She just can't. <laughs> Maybe you're not so stupid after all. <laughs> Very well. Then you must go to the Witch of the West's lair and capture her so that you will be free to give me those slippers. C capture the witch? What's he want shoes for anyway? He doesn't have any feet. Yeah. How'd you like a nice pair of earmuffs instead? Nas has spoken. Away! Ah! <laughs> well, how's the 
affairs of the wares. You? I, the great wizard of Oz, demand freedom, freedom. The uh, great wizard, wizard. <laughs> bah, get yourself out if you can. Very well, madam. I will, I will. Uh, that is, I would if it were not for the fact that I am a gentleman. It is not a guest's prerogative to work magic in his hostess's lair. <laughs> You can't do anything magical. You have no powers at all. No powers? Tut, madam, tut, tut. Face facts. I'm better than you'll ever be. The foot, madam, is in the other shoe. Hmm? I, you see, am better than you than you. I am, am. I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. I am, I am, I am better than you are. By all the other witches I'm admired. I am, I am, I am better than you are. From head to toe in magic, I'm attired. I am, I am, I am smarter than you are. My crafty cousins taught me quite a lot. I am, I am, I am wiser than you are. You don't know half the things that I forgot. I can paint the town red without any paint. It's as easy as one, two, three. Huh. I can stand on my head. I can conjugate eight. I'm so smart, I'm ahead of me. I can cook up a demon that'll set you to screaming in a shake of a dead lamb's tail. I can change a white mouse right into a louse or a goldfish into a whale. I am, I am, I am better than thou art. Just name it, I can conjure up the pipe. Oh, I am, I am, I am better than thou art. I'll stymie you before you even start. I am, I am, I am better than you are. Quarter past 19? My watch must have stopped. I'm running out of time. The old biddy doesn't have much time left. <laughs> well, well. Quick, flying monkeys. <laughs> Never mind you nincomboobs. Couldn't catch a cold. I need slaves much more reliable. Ones who are the, the, the most vicious, hideous. No. Oh, I have it. Oh, 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 it frightens me just to think of them. Most filthy, fiendish, evil, and vile. Up from thy depths, O oh, dark reptile. Go beyond this dank cold wall and kill my foe one and all. Be gone! Well, we're almost there. They'll tear us from limb to limb. Use the slippers. Yeah. Wish them away. They don't work. My slippers don't work. Must be because we're on the witch's lands. <laughs> and there's no place to hide. I got an idea. You've got an idea? Dive into the haystack and hide. Quick. There's, there's nobody here but us laundry. Everybody else went that away. Yeah, you scared them. Okay.
Okay, they're gone. Oh, I gotta pull myself together. Boy, Sock, that was real quick thinking. Astounding. Unbelievable. Oh, Socrates, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> curses. Double curses. Time's running out, my little bat wing. I'll get them yet. And this time I'll give my all. My all! Oh, giant who forges furies. Foul weather's what I need to do for me a dire deed. Lightning flash and thunder roar. Go destroy those cursed four. <laughs> Lightning bolt! It, it, it's gonna hit us! You won't be killed! You can't all get killed! Why not? Because because I love you all too much to let it happen! Another! Another! You've only killed one of them! M more bolts! More bolts! No more bolts! What now? What now? My time's almost up. The wizard, he's my last chance. Oh, Rusty, you just can't be dead. You can't. Oh, Glinda, if you can hear me, if you care, please help us with your magic. Oh, Dorothy, it's no use. Nobody cares. There's no magic anywhere. <laughs> magic is everywhere. It will touch you if you really care. If you care. Here comes a moonbeam right in the middle of the day. How does a moonbeam at noon seem? Bringing its magic your way. Look up. Here comes a moon dream, all of your Things aren't as bad as they might seem When your moonbeam is looking at you You need a dream you can call your own A dream that will calm your fears You need a dream when you're all alone That will wipe away your tears So look up Here comes a moonbeam Right in the middle of the day Your own private moonbeam Bringing your moon dream In its wild got killed. That's what happened. <laughs> Rusty! He's alive! Oh, Rusty, you're alive! I, I, I never thought I could miss anyone so. Golly, <laughs> I'm not worth all this fuss. <laughs> oh, Rusty, without you, nothing would matter. <laughs> My time's running out. By the by, how much longer? Only five minutes. My temporary powers fail at half past twenty. 
That's why you're going to be the bait that quickly lures the little fishies here. I absolutely refuse, absolutely, to be a dupe in such a foul, dastardly canard. Whatever that means, be quiet. Got to, got, got to get those, those, those slippers. Well, everybody, let's go. It's now or never. I take never. Up here, my friends. Up here. Now I'll show you the best way in. Just follow my directions. Don't worry. I killed the witch and we're all safe. We're safe. I knew it all along. Come on, everybody. Follow me. Ooh, not so loud. This way. This way. What the, what's going on? Egad, go back. Go back. We're trapped. Done for. Stall her. Stall her. Only seconds to go. Stall her. Madam, if you harm one hair, one hair of her... Uh... I have you all now. <laughs> Half past twenty. My time's run out. Oh, wizard, you saved us. Your powers are greater than the witch's. Yes, <laughs> yes. I'll not be beaten. I must have those <laughs> now, give me those slippers or I'll drop them. Give me those slippers. No, don't let her have them. Run, save yourself. Run. We're not going to leave Dorothy like that. <laughs> I'll give you those old slippers. The slippers protect you alone. The heartless, brainless, and cowardly, they'll turn to solid stone. No, Dandy, no! Don't touch those slippers! They'll turn me to stone! A stone? Can't help that. I have to save you. Give me those slippers! Dandy, no! If I have a choice, make me pink marble. Now I have my powers for good. All of you turn to stone. <laughs> well, I'll be. She turned to stone. The witch turned to stone. <laughs> See, I told you I'd take care of everything, everything. Now that the witch is dead, will you grant our wishes? Will I? Uh, sure. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, back at the Emerald City. I, the, uh, I think better there. Oh, boy! Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, we come to get a new heart, brains, and courage. The ones you gave the last time. Very well. The great Oz has heard your requests. You say you want a heart, and you want a brain, and you want some courage? Tell you what I'm going to do. Going to do. Going to do. Going to do. Hey, hey, wait! Where are you going? Uh, who, me? Uh, my great aunt. Yes, uh, my great aunt uh, came down with a touch of the vapors. Very suddenly. Mustache. Uh... But you but you can't just run off now. You've promised us magic. Oh, yes. Uh, brains and hearts and stuff like that. My dear friends, if there is one thing experience has taught this old wizard, it's that when it comes to magic, well, it's 
pretty hard to find. No, you're wrong. Golly, I'm no wizard. But I know you should never give up hope. There's plenty of magic. Why, a little robin popping out of its shell in the middle of May. What's that but magic? When you're with those you love and who love you, there's magic there with you. Why, why magic's everywhere. Look! Linda, ma'am. Oh, I'm so glad you showed up. Maybe you can give the fellers what they want. It's not necessary. Dorothy was right. Magic is everywhere. I'll show you. Rusty, when you sacrificed yourself to the lightning bolt because of the love you felt for your friends, from that moment on, you had a heart. Well, what do you know? And the quick thinking you showed to save your friends from the flying alligators proves you have a brain. Yeah? Ow! Hey, there's more than sawdust up there now. Dandy. When you overcame your fears and cowardice and took the silver slippers, even though you thought you'd turned to stone, you showed true courage. Yeah, you're right. Look at me now. I'm the king of the forest. So you see why you weren't turned to stone, and the witch was. The witch was heartless, as anyone is who is cruel. Cowardly, as anyone is who must use slaves and suppress others. And brainless, as anyone is who thinks evil can conquer good. Wow. But the slippers turned into stone. We thought it was the wizard. <laughs> Why, you old humbug. <laughs> <laughs> Why so somber, child? I... I guess I'm homesick again. You see, I kind of miss my folks. Could you get me back there, ma'am? But, Dorothy, you said magic is everywhere. Why not try wishing on Kansas magic? Oh, gee, Dorothy, don't go. We all love you here in Oz. I know that, friends. But you see, I'd have to heap the love back home, too. Kansas can't continue without me. I gotta go back, I gotta go back, I gotta go back. There is something Kansas about me. I gotta go back, I gotta go back, I gotta go back. fun to come here and to visit all of you but i miss the kansas summer and the windy winter too i love you but my first love is kansas i gotta go back i gotta go back i gotta go back oh kansas if you can squeeze out a little magic from all those dusty fields Take me back. Take me back. <laughs> 